Hi guys, Force Concentration here. And uh, as usual, uh, this is a small devlog to talk about what happened in the last couple of months and what's going to happen in the coming weeks. So first of all, I wanted to talk about this game called Age of Darkness, uh, which I discovered very, very recently. I was doing my research about uh, what's new with RTS, what's new with Unreal. And I found out actually this game was published like a year ago. Uh, it completely went under the radar for me. But here you are, here you have um, on the EarlyEngine.com website, you have an extraordinarily interesting interview. Uh, I really recommend to read it. So you just can Google it, Age of Darkness, na 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 na. And, um, it's very interesting in many aspects first of all it's a successful game i mean it's a successful uh, game dev story um the play it's a guy that play size studio developed the game in a you know in basically a year um they are using their own c++ backhand so c++ you know we are interested into that and they are using uh unreal as a rendering engine so they are not really using the actor system and um, things we are used to here. So you really, really, uh, you will really, really find out uh, interesting um, elements here about how they designed the gameplay and um, how they solved as a problem of displaying many, many units on screen. Uh, as you can see, the graphics are really nice. Uh, this is uh, from uh, the in-game uh preview so again very interesting find uh, also very positive for the community because it means that rts can work with unreal engine somehow uh, another fine another fine i mean it's not a fine uh, i wanted to talk about zero ad so what happened is zero ad is an extremely well-known game uh, for uh, RTS game developer for sure uh, for many reasons it has been in development for like 20 years uh, and of course it's open source so the fact that it's open source and anyone can actually see the inner mechanics of it is very interesting to to us because it's a game which works which was networking and um, very very nice graphics so what i did actually today on twitch um, we started to look at the code base here so it's pure c++ and we also um, had a look at the general architecture of the game hopefully in the coming weeks i'm gonna compile this game and we're gonna try to modify a couple of things and see uh, what the, what this uh, engine can do just uh, for pure interest of uh, a real life example of a working RTS game. Uh, besides that, I will continue with my day to day uh, to uh, stream about the two neuron series about RTS. Here now we are chapter 29 and moving on. Uh, the interest for you to register and follow me on Twitch is that I'm not just following the tutorials one by one. Okay, I give my I give my own point of view about what's going, what's happening, and we usually go sideways. We usually explore different mechanics of the engine that Zach from uh, Two Neurons is using. And for example, we quite often refer to uh, Matthew Weinstein. What the heck he is? This or that and uh, we also go to the Unreal Engine forum and try to, to get the maximum of knowledge about the engine. Uh, I wanted also to announce, finally, uh, I released my merch. Uh, as you know, I'm not really in favor of donation and this kind of system. I think it's like, why would you give me money in the middle of nowhere? But in the same time, uh, I felt there was a need for uh, gears and uh, merge around Unreal because we literally have nothing. And so I created my uh, my store. So I use something called Spreadshop. Unfortunately, for the moment, it will only available for people in the US and Canada for some reasons. Uh, oh yeah, it's, it's about where the printing is done. But yeah, I put out a few design of my own. Uh, this is design of my own invention. Uh, very proud of it. It works on Unreal. Yeah, maybe not on Unity, right? And uh, a couple of mugs and a couple of stickers. And I, I'm gonna continue with that. Um, uh, okay, the price. I don't know even about the price. I think I'm making 
two dollars out of 17 dollars so it's really not about the money but to have your merch you know and give a small contribution to the channel so i can buy a new mic or do things like that i mean i already bought the mic but you know you contribute a bit to the channel and uh or in the same time you have um you have a nice t-shirt uh about unreal as you know i'm a big fan of unreal but i will do also like t-shirts like for game devs in general and for introverted people uh in general so a lot of design to come i have already a few other designs ready please check out this uh my store uh you can uh, always go on twitch and follow me there uh, i'm streaming like uh, two three times a week in average um and hopefully more and more uh as my uh, personal situation is, is getting more stable there was a bit of shaky shaky uh dancing in the last uh months that's it for me that's it for today and see you soon guys